So AI applications are taking the world by storm and I wanted to go and kind of explain four of my favorite AI apps that you should definitely check out. These are our applications, but there's one other one that I want to throw in here too. Now, the thing is, is that a lot of these apps kind of require you to sign up and do all these other types of things. So just keep in mind that you can still get a lot of value from the free trials. You don't have to sign up for anything if you don't want to or like pay to keep doing it. So just keep that in mind. I'm just going to let you guys kind of know that. But the first one is, which is a super popular one, is actually Lensa. So this was Lensa.ai. This is a very, very popular application that I've been seeing a lot of people do. And essentially, if you've seen all those people create those somewhat like AI generated, you know, photos of themselves, this is essentially the application that they use. Now, you can kind of see that there's a few different options. So you can always click over here and kind of explore what people are doing. But under this one, under Magic Avatars, essentially what you do is you just basically download the application. You can go ahead and create a new specific one. So in this case, you know, you can go ahead and you know, add in your photos, but in this case, you can see an example of what it'll do. So it'll take in your photos, it'll go and create avatars, and it will create these AI image avatars from your photos. So it's honestly pretty cool. I'm actually, you know, kind of surprised how accurate some of these, you know, photos are that they do. And essentially, you can just go ahead and do this yourself completely for free, which is so nice. So again, you download this application, Lensa AI. These will all be linked in the description. You can just download them from here and insert your images. I have tutorials on my second channel of how to do that. But that is the first application that's actually pretty cool. Now, another really cool one is Wonder. So this is another one I've seen many people to, you know, kind of talk about. But rather than actually bringing in your own images, you can actually create images from just text. So in this case, and they have a lot of examples down here too, but in this case, you download this application, you just go ahead and kind of, then you can just type in exactly what you want to see. So if I want to see like a dog, right? So I can just type in dog, maybe dog in snow or something. Let's just see what comes up with this. I don't even know if it'll work or something, right? So if I type in dog in snow and I go and click there, if I go ahead and choose one of these things, let's go and choose a style, right? And if I go and click create, Let's go and see what happens. So I have to watch an ad in order for this to actually happen. And there you go. It will go ahead and create some of these examples. So you can see it actually looked pretty decent. Like I said, you can always exit out of these. But that is it. Dog in snow. And it created some dogs in snow. So it's honestly pretty cool. I'm kind of surprised how well this image kind of looks. I'm going to go ahead. And from here, if you want to, you can screenshot it. I guess you can share it out and publish it at the bottom. But Wonder AI is really cool because essentially you don't have to bring in any images. It pretty much just creates images from text that you have. That's another really cool one. Now this next one is called Starry. So Starry AI. And this is another one very, very similar to the one I just showed you, which is basically that, you know, like dog and snow one. So in this case, it essentially will do the same thing. So you can go ahead and create, you know, you can enter a prompt and it will go ahead and essentially create an image from that prompt that you show it. So again, some really cool stuff. Here are some examples. So if I go and do the exact same thing, I'm curious to see if we actually do the exact same thing. So dog in snow, I wonder what will actually come up. I don't know why snow is so hard for the keyboard. I don't know if we have to add in images, but let me just go and click create. Okay, let me just go and click skip. And let's just see what happens. So in this case, you can see it's going to keep going and I'm curious to see what's going to happen. And I guess it's going to take a minute, but essentially it's more or less the same exact application like the other one. So that's another cool little app that you can try out as well. So all three of those kind of offer the same thing, but also some you know differences as well. But a really cool one that I want to end off with isn't an art application, but it's ChatGPT. If you aren't familiar, it's basically like an, like a crazy like a chat bot, which will just give you basically anything that you wanted to ask it to. You can have it write code for you, articles, so many things. And although this isn't an art application, it is honestly very cool. So I'll leave this link down in the description too. It's not an application you download, but it's a website. You can access it anywhere. And it's honestly a really cool, cool project that OpenAI worked on as well. So those are some really cool ones I recommend checking out. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I also love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.